So. One second. May I start? May. Oh, sorry, I was muted. Sorry. Uh, yes, please. Ah, uh, yeah. So, may I start, my? Yes, please. Yeah. Can you see my slide? Yeah, I, I can see the pointers. And okay. Uh, so first, I'd like to thank uh, organized for giving me the chance to talk here, and also the all the audience for coming to my talks. So today I will talk about 3D network for Lanka Zero CFT and the Nanil Type CFTs, which is based on my recent work with uh, Song Jun Kim and uh, Kim Young Lee and uh, Mengbo Shim and uh, Masaito Yamazaki. So here is my so. So, so feel free to interrupt me whenever you have any question during the talk. So this is my introduction. So studying the so support component field theory, a support chart is uh, interesting uh, and uh, it connects uh, various interesting research topics in the mathematical physics. So for the cases, this correspond to n equal two theories and uh, there's a uh, lot of interest theory. And the 3D cases, it corresponds to 3D n equal 4 theories, and there's also a lot of interesting stories. And, uh, uh, and even the higher dimensions, and uh, people know that uh, there exists the uh, spoken point field theory with a supercharge, which is directed by the string and M theory. In these theories, uh, this theory have the rich structure in the vacuum moduli space. And uh, so what will natural invariant of this uh, spoken component field theory? With the uh, a supercharge is so called length, which is the dimension of the Coulomb branch vacuum moduli spaces. So this is one of the most basic uh, uh, integer number which characterizes the this uh, uh, spoken component field theories in various dimensions. And it is uh, and uh, people believe that in the higher dimension, bigger than the three, and uh, in the and the people believe that, that there's no uh, inter non no length zero non trivial interacting CFTs. Although there's no proof, but uh, people try to find the such a theory, but they all failed. And uh, people now believe that uh, there is no length zero non trivial CFT in the four dimension and five dimension and the six dimensions. But in today's talk, so we will uh, study the classification of length zero 3D n equal four CFTs. Uh, and uh, so in the and uh, in this length zero cases, so because there is no Coulomb branch or whole Higgs branches, so the conventional approach does not work. Conventional approach is largely based on the assuming the existence of the Coulomb branch or Higgs branch, and they try to uh, study some geometric structure of the Coulomb branch and Higgs branch, and then then the using this the geometric structure, they try to understand the component spoken by Peter Joris. But in our cases, uh, there is no length. For length zero cases, there's no such a branches, so it doesn't have any geometric or some uh, invariant on these Coulomb branches. So, so this is most of the previous approach are not applicable to study such a kind of systems. So let me briefly summarize the general aspect of a 3D n equal source for component field theories. Uh, 3D n equals 4 spoken component field theory has a SO4 R symmetry, which is, uh, can be regarded as a C2 left and brought by the SC2 right R symmetry. And uh, under the middle symmetry, which is duality, uh, extend the, the, the two SC2 R symmetries. And, uh, and the chrome bridges are so some vacuum moduli space parameter by. Uh, some color operator charged under only the SD2 left, and the Higgs branch is the uh, vacuum moduli space parameterized by scalars on, charged under only the SD2 R symmetry. And the middle symmetry exchanges two symmetry, two branches, because the middle symmetry exchanges two SD2 R symmetries. So, so in, in, the, in three cases, uh, the natural uh, definition of the, this length is different from the higher dimension because that uh, the, this mirror symmetry exchanges two branches. So we define the, this uh, length of the 3D n equal 4 CFT as uh, some maximal 
uh, number of the dimension of the Coulomb or maximum dimension of, of Higgs branches. These branches are all hypercalar, so we count the dimension in Cartonian dimension. So, and in 3D cases, non trivial aspect is that there exists interacting uh, 3D and equals for safety of length zero. In length zero, uh, in our dimension, means that there is no Coulomb or Higgs branch of vacuum uh, modular spaces. This is opposite to some higher dimension. Higher dimension, it is believed that there is no uh, length zero shifts with the A supercharges. So the simplest example and the main example of my talk is that the minimal n equals four shifty, which is uh, proposed by uh, me and Amazaki in the three years ago. Let me uh, explain that this is the minimal n equals four shifty more in detail. So this uh, n equals four minimal CFTs uh, only allow the UV description with uh, only manifest the uh, n equals two supersymmetry. So and uh, this uh, UV description is given, simply given by this theory. So consider U1 uh, gauge theory with the uh, n equals two vector multiplet coupled the chiral multiplet over charge one. And uh, we can also introduce in 3D cases, we can introduce transient level. And uh, if we choose this number of transient level, minus three half, and this in the UV theory, this theory has the n equal to super symmetry, and there is additional U1 symmetry called the U1 topological symmetry, which is, whose conservative current is the given by the uh, this can be considered by the F field strength of the gauge field. And this is a, due to the Bianchi identity, this conservative current is automatically preserved and it implies that there is uh, some flavor symmetry, which is called the U1 topological symmetry. In, in this paper, we argue that uh, this theory, n equal two gauge theory, will flow to the n equal four CFT at the IR. So, so there is uh, some super symmetry enhancement, and uh, well, the n equal two super symmetry is enhanced to the n equal four. And under the enhancement, you want you want R symmetry over n equal two theory, and combined with the U1 topological symmetry, play symmetry will become the SO4 R symmetry. And in this theory, it doesn't have any vacuum modularized space. So, it, so in terms of n equal four language, it it doesn't have a Coulomb branch and Higgs branch or even mixed branches. So this corresponds to length zero CFTs. So another uh, interesting aspect of this theory is that this theory has a very small uh, stress and center charge and uh, lambda three sphere free energy. So we can, using the localization, we can exactly compute the, these the two quantities, which is most of a basic physical quantity of the three D CFTs. Uh, stress and center charge is given by this number, and the lambda three sphere free energy is given by this number. So for comparison, so this central charge, stress and central charge is, is even smaller than the central charge for the free chiral series. And this free uh, F, so this free energy is even smaller than the free hypermultiplet. This is, yeah, so it's a free hypermultiplet. So this is the, uh, the, the main example of the, some length zero and equal four shape of this. So, So, so in 3D, there, in the, there could be uh, some length zero CFTs uh, with uh, A supercharges. So, so since there is this length zero CFTs, so, so, so if you want to interest in the class, classifying all the super compact field theory with, with the A supercharge in three dimension, we should start from the length zero CFTs. This is the simplest class. And uh, but unfortunately, this theory is uh, very difficult to some uh, study using the conventional approach such as component bootstrap because uh, this uh, theory doesn't have any structures other than it only it has the n equal four super symmetry. So so in 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 my in our work we attack this classification problem of the length zero CFT by establishing a correspondence between some length zero CFT with uh, some uh, non-neutral TKFTs. 
And this non-neutral safety safety will appear a certain design limit of this uh, length zero safety. In the length zero safety, uh, physical observers are collection functions of the local and loop operators, and uh, they are subjected to the various uh, some identities, what identity, and uh, some crossing symmetry identity. But uh, this equation is very difficult to solve, and uh, uh, so we, if we don't know any numerical solution, even numerical solutions. But in the general limit, we, we are claiming that this will theory will become described by uh, some non-neutral TKFTs. And uh, in, the, in, the, in 3D topological field theory, generally, the, all the physical observers are collection functions of loop operators. And they are subject to some, some topological properties, and they are more structurally severe than the this is executive server. So we in so using the, this map, we uh, mapped a very complicated and difficult to solve uh, so, so some field theory, which is very difficult to solve, to lead us to the very simple uh, executive server model. And then the, using this model, using executive server subsectors, we are going to understand uh, some this uh, series. This is our uh, basic strategies. So in, in this design limit, all the loop operators are suppressed. Uh, all the local operators are suppressed. Even the stress and tensor becomes suppressed in this limit. And I will explain this design limit more in detail later. And so this becomes some topological series. And so these dynamics are severely constrained and uh, this is the uh, exact result. So we will call this uh, correspond as a uh, length zero and the uh, 3D non-neutral TKFT correspondence. Then one may ask that uh, maybe under this limit, so we simplify it a lot and uh, maybe we lose all the interesting information of this uh, for combined field theory in the design limit, but the uh, the answer is a no. So we will claim we will claim that at least some important invariant of this CFT can be lead off from the, this uh, topological field theory appearing at the design limit. So such as the one-point symmetry and uh, it's a two-point anomaly are uh, intact during the this limit, and also most importantly the round three speed free energy also can be, which is the most basic. CFT data, CFT quantity of the 3D CFT can be obtained from this uh, topological field theories. So this is a. Uh, uh, so let me. Uh, so this is the end of my introduction. Do we have any questions so far? So, so let me uh, explain the more in detail what is the link zero and the non-neutral TKFT correspondence. The, the claim, main claim of my, our talk can be, this correspondence can be summarized in this way. So we, we consider some 3D link zero CFT, T link zero, and then, then the, we consider some spot pattern function, which depend on the various parameters, which I will explain. So. On the some curved background, least supersymmetric background V, and the some with the insertion of a supersymmetric loop operators. And it depends on some various parameters, which I explained later. Then the, we take a certain design limit. Well, the, this the, we're taking some certain parameter in the certain limit. Then the, what we are claiming is that the, this Bachan function will depend on the only topological information of this uh, supersymmetric symmetry background M, and uh, and uh, this will become uh, some pattern function of the non-neutral TKFTs on the, this uh, topological uh, background. So in the, in the least supersymmetry background, there is a lot of dependence, and other than the topological information, it depends on the choice of the metric and uh, some supersymmetry metric, and uh, some choice of the background uh, R symmetry flux and the, Lots of other extra information, but what we are claiming is that in this limit, always this pattern function dependence will drop out, except uh, the information of the topological structure of the 
Squash metric background. So this FATE function only will depend on the topological information of the Squash metric background. So this is the uh, main uh, claim of the our talk, and uh, we will uh, verify this uh, claim for various example of a squash metric background and the various example of the rank zero CFTs. So let me uh, explain that this uh, dependence. What is these parameters? So here V V is uh, some choice of the least squash metric background, and uh, and the M is the um, only topological structure of the this uh, squash metric background. So this this at the design limit, this pattern function only depends on the, this topological information of the squash metric background. In the literature, people consider this uh, squash metric pattern function on this uh, whose topological structure is given by the some genus p bundle of the genus G Lehman surface, uh, the degree p bundle of the genus G Lehman surfaces. This is the most uh, general structure of the squash metric background. And uh, this pattern function also can be uh, decorated by the, some insertion of a squash metric loop operators, or uh, some type of some type of alpha along the squash metric curve, gamma. As mostly people consider some gamma is chosen as some S1 direction in the bundle. And and uh, at, at the in the this design limit, this pattern function will only depend on some isotopic class of this gamma in the this. Background. And uh, this squash metric pattern function also depends on the so parameter called the squashing or, or meta deformation parameters when the, this uh, genus number of this basis is the uh, zero. And uh, so we can introduce this kind of parameter. And uh, what we are claiming is that in this general limit and uh, this squashing parameter dependence will drop out because it is topological theory and the, this Gaussian parameter enters some component of the metric of the Gaussian metric background. So in the topological limit, then the, this dependence will drop out. And the, this Gaussian metric pattern function also can depend on the spin structure along the, this pipe S1 directions. When the T or other cases, there are two choices, uh, some, uh, some periodic anti-periodic boundary condition for cases, and it depends on the spin structure choices. And in digital limited, this uh, spin structure choices can remain, and uh, depending on, and uh, some topological field theory can also depend on the choice of a spin structure. In that case, this is called the spin TKFTs. So in this limit, spin structures dependence are still remain. May I, may I ask a question, please? Yeah. Uh, so is there a, a holomorphic, anti-holomorphic uh, factorization, factorization to the uh, topological field theory? And is there some kind of Lagrangian used to define it? Uh, so let me think. So in this case, so people studied uh, some squash met, uh, some, some in the squash, least the squash the pattern function, people studied uh, 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 some factorization of uh, some squash in the background. And uh, whose building building block is a pattern function on D2 times S1. And in this case, is also I think that we can do it because this is a topological field theory, and uh, and this manifold basically can be uh, obtained by the uh, some uh, yeah, at least the, when the genus zero equal genus genus equal zero cases can be glued by the some gluing the two solid torus with uh, some 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 twist, then the this pattern function, pattern function can be can be written as a uh, product of the D2 times S1 pattern function. So this allowed uh, some uh, factorizing property. So I, I we haven't studied that, but it, it will be very interesting. To, well, this in DJ limit, this limit is compatible with uh, some uh, factorizing property of these two sides. In DR, there is a factorized property using the uh, squash metric factorized property uh, studied. And the here, as a topological field theory, this so pattern function also can be factorized. And uh, we haven't checked that whether this, uh, in this digital limit uh, preserves this factorization structure. Yeah. 
Thank you. And in, in, in this supersymmetric pattern function cases, we can also turn on the, some real mass parameters for the U1 axial symmetry. So, so we are considering some, uh, some n equal 4 CFT. So this has, uh, as I mentioned, SO4 R symmetry. And uh, we denote the two cartons as R and R primes. R is the carton of SU to left, and R prime is the carton of the SU to right. And uh, then some of the linear combination correspond to some R symmetry of n equal two subalgebra, which is uh, called R symmetry. And another combination correspond to some some flavor symmetry in terms of n equal two subalgebra. So this uh, another some this flavor symmetry charge is not by A. And uh, since localization is based on the only n equal four n equal two super algebra, so if there is a additional symmetry committing with uh, n equal to super algebra, we, then the, we can introduce the real mass parameters or fugacity parameters for this uh, topological symmetry, uh, U1 accurate symmetry. So this pattern function can be uh, depend on, generally depend on the real mass parameter for this U1 accurate symmetry or fugacity parameter eta over this real actual mass parameters. And uh, another subtle thing is that the, the choice of the n equal to uh, R symmetry is not unique, and uh, there we can consider one parameter family of this R symmetry, which is given by the mixing parameter mu. So this the mu equal zero correspond to the Spokopoma R symmetry, but uh, we can consider another R symmetry, which is uh, obtained by the mixing with uh, this uh, U1 A symmetry. So this pattern function depends on the choice of this uh, mixing parameters. So most in, in the in the length zero theory cases, the most general supersymmetric pattern function can be written in this form. It depends on the choice of the supersymmetric background and the choice of the squashing parameter when the g equals zero cases. And uh, in these cases, and uh, also we can turn on the real mass parameter and the mixing parameter, and also depend on spin structure. This is the most uh, general structure of a supersymmetric pattern function for length zero n equal four GFTs. Thank you, Ming. Um, can I ask you a quick question? Also, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have my camera on yet. I woke up a few minutes ago. Um, so uh, if, if you have a 3D n equals four theory with the full uh, SU2 times SU2 R symmetry group, there, there are two standard ways to turn it into a TQFT by, by doing a topological twist. Yeah. Um, and by mixing with one of one of the SU2s yeah, yeah, or the yeah. other one, in other words, like turning on that background. Um, is that is that related to what you're doing? So that's very good question. Thank you for uh, asking the questions. And uh, so, but the, this is uh, Lozanski written topology twisting. Uh, after this topology twisting, the result is here is unitary. So, um, so and the, this theory is non-unitary. So they are not they are actually different. But I guess that they are somewhat related. I, I'm not sure. Ah, maybe in the rank zero case. I, I'm not. I'm not sure that's true in general. Um, uh, I'll give some examples on Wednesday. Uh, when, oh, when okay. like, like you, you get you get S and T matrices that are not not unitary. Um, uh, so, so Lodaski written twisting then the this uh, is a topor twisting generally it preserve the unitarity. So if you do the 60 comma zero theory and partial topo twisting, the resulting system still have the unitarity and the, and the- what, what is your argument for that? Uh, so this is just turning on the some, uh, some, some unitary background for the R symmetry. We are turning on the some, some background field for the R symmetry and this is unitary configuration. So I guess that it, there's nothing uh, in the in topo twisting. It does not break any unitarity. Okay, I'm not I'm not sure I agree, but let me let me think about it. So, um, and so so yeah. typically, like when you uh, yeah, ne never mind. I'll I'll uh, I'll ask more during the discussion at the end. Thanks. Yeah. So so one another thing is that if you do the some Rosanski written twist, the people usually do on the some non-negative CFT uh, CFTs, and in that cases. 
that the resulting topological field theory is not the genuine topological field theory in the sense that the RTS action, it does not satisfy the RTS action. But the, in our cases, this unitary TKFT, non unitary TKFT after this uh, degenerate limit is the genuine topological field theory satisfying the RTS uh, axiom and the described by the modular tense category, usual modular tense okay. category. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thank you for the questions. And uh, so from now on, I will, so, so it's a, my, my, this is the end, almost the end, so everything I want to say. And uh, then the, from now on, I will uh, check that this correspondence for very explicit example with the length zero CFT and uh, some various possibility background. So this, then the, the last, the remaining part will be later technical and boring, but uh, basically I'm trying to check that this is the lesion and uh, I will show the how this lesion is naturally work. Oh, sorry, Dongmin, the, the argument you just made about unitarity, like here you're turning on a, a background as well. Um, yeah. You're just mixing mixing with a U1 subgroup of the R yeah. symmetry rather than yeah. the SU2. So, so why why would this give a non-unitary TQFT? So, so, yeah, yeah, so we are turning on some, some if you're turning on the, this real mass parameter, this of course does not break unitarity, but we are turning on the mu parameter. In a sense, this can be regarded as a complex mass parameter. Okay. So, so we are considering some non-unitary R symmetry non spoken for R symmetry turning on, and uh, yeah, so, oh uh, yeah, maybe then, then, then I'm confused. I, I, I think it seems very subtle, and I, I think you could make similar arguments about but, the topological but, 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 case. On Wednesday, we really show that the example that after the Rosansky written twist, you will get a non unitary non semi simple TKFTs. Am I correct? Uh, yes, we said, yes. Sorry, yes, <laughs> indeed. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, and they're, they're both not non unitary and non semi. Yeah, so in this case, we are some non unitary, but those is, is not the non semi simple. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Let me think about your comment more. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So, the simplest thing, so, so first, the simplest, uh, the, the background we are considering the super combo in that. Well, the topologically, this background is given by the S2 times S1. And uh, it's a, this has uh, some index interpretation. So we will replace this pattern function as a, this notation. It's a I supercomponent index. And it depends on the Q parameter, which is some omega deformation parameters, which is a replacement of B scale. And there are also focus the parameter, eta, for U1 extra symmetry. And there is R symmetry mixing and the spin structure choices. And in terms of the some canon contagion pictures, this uh, dependence can be understood in this uh, relation. So trace is taken of the some radial quantized Hilbert space, which is the space of the local operators. And uh, depending on spin structure, we, we can uh, weighted by the minus one to the R or minus one to the two J3. And the, here the mu dependence appears here. And the, we can weight it by the this uh, uh, Fugacity and uh, some actual mass parameters. So here that uh, this depend on these parameters. And uh, from the super component multiplet analysis, which is done by these people, and uh, one can prove that for length zero shafts, uh, there is no Coulomb branch and the Higgs branch local operator. Then the, we can easily show that uh, this at the, this certain design limit when the get equal one and mu equal one cases this part. Spoken by index become this index. And uh, in this index, we can check that from the spoke multiple analysis, there's no uh, uh, local operator satisfying the uh, 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 contributing this index for the length zero cases because that uh, this index only get contribution from the Coulomb branch operators or Higgs branch operators, Coulomb branch operators. But uh, since we are considering the length zero CFTs, there's no Coulomb branch operator by definition. So this pattern function always become trivially one because there's only uh, trivial identity operators which contribute to this super index at this region limit. So one can check that, uh, we can prove that using the super multiple analysis that for length zero CFT, this super index become always 
trivially one in this decision limit. And this is compatible with the fact that the, all the support, all the put all the topological field theories, the pattern function on S2 times S1 is always one because the S2 is the homo homotopically trivial and that there is only one ground state on S2. So this is one. So, so this is compatible. So we proved that this, uh, our uh, conjectures correspondence when B equals, when the, this supersymmetric ground is chosen as spot component index. So let me give a concrete example that uh, the, for n equal to uh, the, consider the minimal n equal positivity, which I ex explained in the introduction that uh, this has a UV description, which only have an n equal to supersymmetry. And then the, using the n equal to supersymmetry uh, description, we can con compute the spoken point in that in a localized formula. And uh, this can be written in explicitly in this way. And uh, at the at the choice of the spoken point R symmetry, V equal zero, then the, we can compute the, this super point index. And the, this is a non-trivial uh, function, uh, power, power series in Q. So there are lots of the non-local operator contributing this uh, uh, spoken point index. But if we consider spoken point index, it's a general limit, well, the V becomes a plus minus one and the eta become one cases. You can check that this all become just trivially one. So this is compatible with uh, this uh, spot multiplet analysis, and this is also compatible with our some correspondence. So spot component index cases, everything is clear, and we can prove the, our correspondence. The next thing, non-trivial thing, is that we will consider squash the three sphere function, and uh, and this is uh, some metric wise. This uh, is background is given by some, this squash the three sphere metric, which is given by this uh, form. And the pattern function, squash the pattern function depend on the, this uh, squash parameters. But the, what we are claiming is that the, this squash the pattern function will become the B independent in the design limit uh, for only for length zero series. So it means that this pattern function become uh, B independent and the, this pattern function will be the equivalent to the some three sphere pattern function over this non neutrality capitalist. So this is a so this is a very non trivial uh, uh, proposal and uh, so far we don't know the pro any proof of it but uh, from the many examples we found that this works. And uh, for squash three sphere pattern function cases using localization the pattern function can be written in this form. So let me give us some concrete examples. So the example is the still the minimal n equal four CFT. Using this the UV description, we can write down the uh, squash three sphere pattern function, which depends on squashing parameter and the real mass parameter and the r charge mixing in this way, integration. And the, well, the, this uh, psi is uh, so-called the quantum dialogism function. And then the, and the integer limit, which corresponds to m equal zero and the m equal plus minus one, we can compute it exactly at the value. And then the, we surprisingly found that this become this value, which is uh, B independent. So, so although we don't know the why this work, but uh, yeah, so this is uh, one of the uh, prediction of our some, some correspondence and uh, it actually work. And another popular spot pattern function is so called the twist indices, which is whose uh, uh, topological structure is the Lehman surface genus you know, Lehman spread times S1. And uh, this can be twist index can be written in this form. And uh, some, some trace is taken of the Hilbert space on the genus you know, Lehman surface with a partial topological twisting along the, this uh, genus you know, Lehman surface. So, so it's a somewhat technical, but the people found that, that using localization, the pattern function can be written as uh, some following beta sum, some beta vacua, and uh, this uh, some weighted by the so-called hand gluing operators. And uh, this beta vacuum are given by this algebraic uh, equation, extremizing twist 
with spoken data. And uh, one of one way to define the twist with spoken data is that uh, we consider localization integration of a squashed with speed pattern function, and then they take some how about was the zero limit of this integrand, and that this leading part is the twist spoken data, and the, the next leading part is called the W1 and etc. And uh, this extremizing this the twist spoken data, we can obtain the Becky vacuum, and then the the hand is basically correspond to the one part, and then the, we are waiting some, then the, we obtain the twist indexes. So here is the example. So, so for minimal n equal four CFT cases, then the, the squashed reciprocal function can be written as in this localized formula, and then the using formula, we can obtain the twist the potential and the, this one part. And then the, and the, if we extremize this twist potential, there is a two better vacua given by, determined by this algebraic equation. And uh, in the limit, this hand uh, operator become these simple values. So what, so what we are claiming is that if this our correspondence is correct, then the, this twist index at the, this design limit should correspond to the pattern function of a topological field theory, non-unitary topological field theory on the Riemann surface times S1. And in, in topological field theory, it is known that this uh, uh, pattern function on Riemann surface times S1 can be written as uh, some in this form called uh, using the modular S matrix of a topological field theory. So, so let me briefly give uh, some digression on the unitary and non-unitary 3D topological field theories because that I need to explain the, what is a modular S matrix of topological field theories. So in general, two, two plus one and topological field theories, so one characteristic property of this topological field theory is that there's no local operators. For example, if we consider SE2 transcend level, uh, K transcend theory, whose action is given by this one. And this theory does not ha have any uh, non-trivial gauge invariant operators, even stress and tensor become trivial. So in this series, the physical observers of a topological field series are collection functions of loop operator on the various uh, topological space. So this is uh, one example of the physical observers, which is called the uh, uh, Hoch link expected value on three spheres. And this physical observers only depend on the, some topological information of the background space time and also depend on the, some isotopic class of knot. And so this will give uh, some color the link and the three manifold invariant. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, and this, uh, this correlation function shows it by some, some relations uh, due to the imposed by the topological property of this theory. And then the, and then it, and the, in, in, in the most general way to construct uh, this uh, uh, topological color, the three manifold, color the link or three manifold invariant is called uh, using the, some modular tensor categories. So this, this can be regarded as uh, some basic information of the topological field theories. So it, this is analogous to the some spectrum of all the local operator and the OP coefficient for the local CFTs. So this model tensor category is uh, simply given by some some symbols with uh, some uh, some future matrices for called on the R and F symbols with subject to some algebraic relation and the gauge difference. These are the all finite size tensors. So this is a some cases exactly resolvable, and there's uh, some exactly known solution. Then the, what people found that they're using this uh, information, then the, we can construct, uh, there is a way to construct the mathematical way to construct the color link and the three manifold invariant. It means that uh, using this information, we can construct a three dimensional topological field series. So this, these are the, some, this will determine the all the physical quantity of a topological field series. And, uh, and the so one important subset subset of this um, modular tense categories are called the modular data of uh, 3D topological field theories. 
And uh, so this is the modular data consists of the modular S matrix and the T matrix. Uh, in, 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 in this can be regarded as some, so if we consider some Hilbert space on torus, and there is a one natural basis of the Hilbert space using the exciting vacuum to some loop operators of type alpha. And this uh, S and T matrix are basically the some element of the matrix element of the SL2G S matrix and the T matrix with respect to this uh, basis. This is a N by N matrices, unitary matrices, and uh, this is also unitary matrices. And uh, this modular data so contains a lot of information. So this is one of the basic uh, quantity characterizing the three-dimensional topological field theories. For example, using this uh, S matrix, generous component of S matrix, we can determine the ground state degeneracy on general genus D Riemann surface. And uh, using the S matrix, we can also determine the fusion coefficient. And uh, we can also compute the various supersymmetric pattern function on the uh, sp various topological pattern function on the Euclidean space can be uh, written using the, these the modular structures. So this uh, contains a lot of the So the modular tensor categories are, uh, there is a simple object labeled by alpha to the zero to n minus one. And this uh, characterizes the type of the anion or loop operators. And there are some some ten some some symbols, and uh, with some relations. And when the, this all the symbols are unitary, we call this is a unitary TKFT. And some of them are non-unitary, such as some F, F matrix is non-unitary. Then we will call this as the uh, non-unitary matrices. And the, and the information of this non-unitary and non-unitary is encoded in the S matrix in this way. And uh, let me give uh, some example of the, some unitary uh, TKFT and the non-unitary TKFTs. And uh, this is a so-called Fibonacci TKFTs. Uh, this can be realized in, the, in this way using the Chan Simon series. And the, this F symbol and the S symbol, F, S matrix are given by this one. Well, this uh, five plus minus is some algebraic solution to the this uh, equations, algebraic equations. And the, and the, there and there is a corresponding Galois conjugate called the Liang TKFTs, whose uh, F matrix, F, F symbol, and the S matrix are almost same, but uh, we just replace the phi plus by the another solution, phi minus, and uh, exchange this one. And so naturally, people call that these uh, two pairs are related by the Galois conjugate. These are the old unitary, and these are the non-unitary. So this is the simplest example of the non-unitary TKFTs. And uh, this is the simplest example of unitary TKFTs, and uh, they are related by so-called Galois conjugation. So, 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 we are claiming that uh, this uh, twist index in the design limit become a uh, pattern function of a topological field theory on Riemann surface times S1. Then the, this can, from this computation, we can uh, extract uh, this uh, information of the modular S matrices of the topological field theories. And uh, so in, in the topological field theory, different pattern functions are some are related. For example, if we consider genus G Lima surface times S1, then the pattern function can be written as S matrix in this way. So if we consider three sphere pattern function, then the, this also can be related by S matrix in this way. So in, in the topological field theory, these two pattern functions are somewhat related. So our correspondence says that the, in design limit, t, two, these two supersymmetric pattern functions are related by in this way. So so, so, yeah, so supersymmetric, so topological pattern functions are more restrictive than the supersymmetric pattern functions. And the, what we are saying is that the, in the, for Lenka zero theory cases, it is supersymmetric pattern function in digital limit satisfied all this non trivial property of the, the topological pattern functions. 
So let me give an example. So, so for minimal n equal four shaped cases, we can compute the three sphere partial function, and then the, we get the S matrices, some S00 matrices, and the, using the twi twist the indices, we can obtain the, some information of uh, S matrices. And then the, there's, a, another, there's also another way to compute the full S matrices. And uh, we can found that uh, in these cases, cor the corresponding nonlinear TKFTs are just, a bit, just a bit, uh, the just the Liang nonlinear TKFTs. So in this way, so we can we can check that the uh, the the superposition function of this minimal n equal four CFTs at the design limit become the topological partial function of the Liang TKFTs for various superposition background. So. So far, we related the partial function of the length of zero CFT at uh, some design limit with the modular data of a topological field theories. So basically, we claim that uh, some supersymmetric partial function at uh, some design limit, which is correspond to non supersymmetric R symmetric choices. And then the, this partial function becomes some partial function of a topological field theory, corresponding topological field theory on the, this topological background. But in, in our paper, we found that surprisingly, we found that uh, some three sphere partial function at the component point. So we are taking design limit, and uh, we are claim that the, in the design limit, this partial function is related to the topological field theory. But the, what we are finding is that uh, not only the this uh, partial function at the design limit, but also the, the partial function at the super component uh, point. So this corresponds to the free energy on round the three sphere also can be obtained from the some topological, uh, some property of the topological field theory living at uh, this design limit. So, so this relation is very surprising because that uh, this is the F defined in this quantity is the quantity uh, defined at the spoke component point, which corresponds to V equal zero, but uh, this the TQ of these partial functions appeared at uh, this design limit, but uh, some way they are related to the, in this way. And uh, this F is a very uh, important quantity and uh, this is the, uh, some analogs to some stress and center energy in the two dimension and there is a so-called F theorem which guarantee that uh, this F is always decreased until the R's learnings. So this F is uh, can be regarded as the proper measure of degree freedom of three D CFTs and this is the most basic quantity of the through the component field theories. So this basic quantity can be uh, related to the, some, some modular data of the topological field theory appearing at the design limit in this such a simple way. And uh, uh, there is some heuristic argument understanding on this relation, but uh, let me skip this part. So this is uh, so one of the uh, surprising results in our papers. So let me check that this uh, relation for this uh, simplest example cases. So we can we score this partial function can be written in this one, and if we compute the f, then the, we obtain the, this value, and we can found that uh, in this theory the corresponding topological field theory is given by the Liang model, and the, we know the full S matrix of Liang model. And then the, you, one can check that this uh, F computed using the localization is exactly the same as the F computed by its, our dictionaries. So we, in this way, we can confirm the, this dictionary in a very non-trivial way. So there, and, the, and there are lots of uh, example of the language of CFT. Uh, uh, one example is that uh, 3D n equal 4 CFT obtained by the gauging the diagonal SU2 over TSU2 theory over with the transfer level K. Well, the TSU2 theory is uh, given by the, this keywords U1 coupled to two fundamental hypers. And the, the, the theory has the uh, SU2 symmetry and, the, and also SU2 symmetry, which acting on the Coulomb branch and the Higgs branch. And the, we are gauging the diagonal subgroup over this uh, two SU2 with the transfer level K. Then the, this resultant theory will become a uh, after gauging and the Coulomb branch or and the Higgs branch all lifted and this theory become the length zero CFT. 
And the non-trivial thing is that the, even though we are gauging the theory with the non-trivial transcendent level, it does not break the, any further symmetry. So this will still remain the n equal 4 CFT and the, with the length zero CFTs. And in these cases, we can, using the supersymmetric pattern function, we, we can test the, our uh, correspondence and that we can actually read off the, this non neutral TKFT leading, uh, living in the design limit of this uh, length zero CFT. And we found that uh, this k equal three cases, this the resulting uh, topological field theory is non theoretical field theory given by the some Liang scale times U1 transcendent level two theory and the K equals four cases. This is some Galois conjugation of SE2 transcendent level 10 theories and some, some operations. And the K equals five cases. This, this is a Galois conjugation of the G2 transcendent level three uh, unitary to keep this so, and some cases. And the, for higher k cases, we can obtain the, some, some modular data of the modular data, but uh, we couldn't identify the, this uh, data with the known non-neutral TKFTs. So we suspect that this, yep, these cases in design limit will correspond to new non-neutral non TKFTs. So in this way, we can, so we can construct some new non-neutral TKFTs. So another nice application of this our correspondence is that uh, using this our correspondence we can uh, derive the lower bound on f in, in a very simple way. So we know that the uh, S matrix using the S matrix we can express the ground state degeneracy of genus Riemann surfaces in this way. And we know that for genus zero cases for all the topological field theory the ground state degeneracy should be one. And for higher genus cases we know that this should be the some integer numbers and natural numbers. So this will highly constrain the possible values of what S matrix is. And then the using the our dictionary, then the, we can derive the lower bound of F very easily. And so this is just uh, some, uh, some middle score uh, mass using the, just the using the middle score mass. Uh, we can derive that uh, this, uh, there's a lower bound is F and this lower bound is actually by saturated by the minimal CFT and the whose corresponding uh, non-neural TKFTs are Liang TKFTs. So in this way, so uh, we can actually prove that uh, this uh, minimal CFT is actually the minimal CFT which in having the smallest uh, F among the all the length zero CFT, maybe uh, it's among the all the 3D n equal four CFTs. So let me uh, let me finish my talk by summarizing my talk. So so we initi initiated the classification of a 3D n equal four length zero CFT by establishing correspondence between the length zero CFT and the, uh, a pair of a non-neutral topological field theory appearing at the certain design limit. And uh, as a non-trivial dictionary, we prove that the f of the length zero CFT is can be related to the S matrix of a non-neutral TKFT in a, this such a simple way. And, and the, using this uh, dictionary, we can derive the, some lower bound for the, this uh, uh, F on the, for any length zero n equal four CFTs. And uh, we, it, this bound is saturated by the minimal CFT, which I explained in the introduction. So there are lots of things we can work. So, so the first thing we should do is the how to justify the our finding. So we we propose that the length zero CFT at certain limit at the partition function level, this partition function becomes just a partition function of the non-neutral TKFTs. And the and the one of the non-trivial dictionary of our data is that we can relate to F to the, this the modular S matrix in a simple way. How to uh, understand this relation. We check that this relation for infinite many examples. So we believe that this work and, uh, and we have uh, some partial understanding, but uh, we, uh, we don't have a full justification of the hours correspondence. And uh, in, the, in the viewpoint of classification, the, the one natural question is uh, whether this map is injective or subjective. And uh, in our paper, we give uh, some evidence that this is actually injective. 
And uh, I hope that this is also subjective. And uh, although I haven't explained uh, in this uh, uh, talk, but uh, uh, in the last years that, that uh, we have another realization of uh, non-neutral TKFT using the some 3D, 3D correspondence, which says that uh, if we are compact by the 60 theory on the certain class of non hyperbolic manifold, then the, we are claim that the resulting theory is actually the non-neutral TKFT. And in, in today's talks, uh, we realize this non-neutral TKFT in the different method using that uh, if we start from the n equal to length zero CFT, and the, we claim that uh, from at, at, at the certain design limit, we will obtain the non-neutral TKFTs. So, uh, so, so last year, and, and the, this, this work, today's work, and uh, this work gave the two uh, seemingly different uh, realization of the non-neutral TKFT, but actually, so, so we are studying the, this uh, correspondence more deep, uh, closely, and we found that the, this actually two constructs are actually equivalent. So what we are saying is that if we compactify two comma zero here on this non hyperbolic manifold, and we get uh, some length zero non neutral TKFTs. So thank you for your attention. So let me stop here. Okay, thank you, Don Min. So yeah, now we have time for questions. So you can either speak up, just speak up, or uh, yes, I, I think that's best, but you can also raise the hand and then, then you can also uh, yeah, ask that person for questions. So now time for questions. Any comments or questions? Hey, I have more of a comment, but I didn't want to go first. <laughs> um, I'll go anyway. Uh, th th thanks a lot for, for the, the really cool talk. Um, uh, and, and yeah, the paper you guys wrote on this uh, was really neat. Um, I think uh, thinking about my, my earlier comment about topological twists and this sort of parameters you're specializing, um, it, it looks like uh, these may be particular cases of a holomorphic topological twist. It, like if you actually wanted to, to say like what, what this field theory was um, lo locally um, or, or to try to give a Lagrangian in the case where you, you have a Lagrangian to begin with, uh, like a, if, if you have a UV Lagrangian description of one of these 3D n equals two theories, um, I, it looks like you might be, uh, be taking various holomorphic topological twists of them. Mm -hmm. um, the, the kind that I, I, I guess uh, Aganagic, uh, Costello, McNamara, and Bafa first mm -hmm. studied in, in 3D, but based on Kapustin's holomorphic twists in 4D. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it might be fun to, um, yeah. like, like we can just write down Lagrangians for these with, with a BRST operator acting um, yeah. and like check that the stress tensor is exact and stuff like that. Uh -huh. um, Mm. If, if that if that's indeed the case, that, that might be fun to do. I see. Thank, thank you for the comment. Yeah. Yeah, if that works, that's great because the, then probably the story generalizes. So. Y yeah. Mm. Um, it, I, so, so like if, if, if that's true, then, then you, you've, you've just found like a, a big family of theories whose holomorphic topological twists are actually fully topological. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, thanks. Yeah. So, so in in the NQL case, we can also consider some some topological twisting using the S two left or S two to light. And uh, is it different from? Yeah, it seems like. Yeah, it seems like it's it's a different background. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm in particular, I'm not sure how to use twisted like these twisted partition functions to access anything except for just sort of a trivial surface times S1 um, in the in the fully, for, for the fully topological twists, like getting things like S3 or uh, these, yeah, yeah. these non-trivial vibrations, it just, just won't work because mm -hmm. um, the, 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 full, the full SU2R symmetry has to be used. Um, yeah. it, it, it does seem like you're doing something different. Yeah, so so I so one thing I'm saying is that this, if we consider this background is a twist in that, 
And uh, then the, in this design, it seems to be actually the same with uh, this uh, lorenzo witten topoly twisting. Yeah, so, 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 but the, so one thing is that the, some, some, if we consider the Riemann surface times S1, then the, this, uh, yeah, super twisting, this special pattern function is actually seems to be equivalent to the Lausanne written twisting because the Lausanne written on Riemann surface times S1, they are actually yeah. using the U1 R symmetry, only the U1 R symmetry because that, uh, because there's trivial proctors. Yeah, but the Lorentz Witten twisting is the is the is the, is the, yeah unitarity. But the, if you consider three sphere pattern function, then the, they are different. So, <laughs> right. so yeah, so, yeah. So it's probably yeah. Different. So there's actually the, the, the so so Galois conjugation has this kind of property. Galois conjugation has uh, one is a unitary and the other is non-unitary, and they both have the same pattern function on Riemann surface times S one, but the different the three sphere mm. pattern. So if it, if is Galois conjugation an, an operation that one does on, on TQFTs in general? Um, yeah, so simple example is uh, the Fibonacci and the Liang TQFTs. And uh, yeah, one is uh, one is a unitary TQFT and this is a this is non-user TQFT. And the, but the, they have uh, shared the same, uh, some ground oh, state degeneracy surfaces. But the, the pattern function on six is different, yeah. So I, what I think is that the, our non-unitary TKFT might be the some color conjugate of the unitary, uh, some topological twist, the topological twist series. That, that uh, yeah, we have uh, some. Oh, thanks. That, that's a neat proposal. Yeah, yeah. So, so in, in the end of in the end of part of the in the conclusion part of the last part section of the our paper, we discuss that possibilities that that uh, this might be this nonlinear TKT might be some color conjugate of the uh, Lorentz Witten twist the topological field theory, and uh, and the Lorentz Witten twisting for length zero shift shift is actually become a topological field theory, genuine topological field theory described by the unitary modular tense category. Yeah, but the, I guess you will talk about some, yeah. So the last give it, it It sounds different, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, great. So uh, thank you for the question and the comments. So what, what other questions or comments? I have a, a very simple question. Uh, how, uh, easy or difficult is it to compute, say, a link invariant in one of these uh, non-unitary TQFTs? Yeah, it's a very straightforward. So, so every non-unitary. So, in principle, if you know that, uh, so for example, if you want to compute the Hopf link, Hopf link, then the, this is the can be computed by the S matrices. And so, if we know the, yeah, we know the S matrices. Yeah. So. In principle, if we know that this uh, F and R and the uh, all symbols, and uh, for Fibonacci cases, at uh, the Liang mode case, we know the, all the these symbols, then the, in principle, we can compute the, every link diagram, then we can, its amplitude can be written in terms of these variables, and we can compute it. Yeah. So, yeah, although there's a uh, liking, so if we like uh, the arbitrary link, and then, then the making it in terms of the, this, uh, Matrix is very complicated, but the in principle is possible. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah, complicated, but uh, yeah, in principle it's possible. And uh, and this algebraic relation guarantee that this uh, computation is invariant of the, some lidar lidomized Google and uh, some some Kirby calculus, something like that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, other questions or comments? Okay, so if not, uh, yeah, so I think we still have a little bit of time, but it's okay. So I think we can, uh, uh, sound, let's sound the domain again, and uh, uh, let's uh, close the session. Sorry, not the session, let's uh, end this talk, and the next talk will start at uh, 5.30 this time, time in the Japan, but that means 80 minutes. From here, so whatever your time zone is, it will start from 
30 minutes, uh, sorry, past uh, the exact time. Oh, sorry, what is that? <laughs> but in, in 18 minutes, yeah. 18, yeah. Yeah, 18 minutes, yes. Thank you. <laughs>